Hey everyone, I'm back here with some logic tips and tricks to help you create music to the best of your ability. I am learning new things every day and super excited to share with you guys about templates. This saves me so much time. As a producer, I'm, I'm using a lot of the same instruments, I'm using a lot of the same plugins on vocals, so to have all of those loaded in on a template literally saves probably 15 minutes a, a project. So this can really help your workflow. So we're gonna start out by opening a new project. And this is the fun part. You get to customize what you want. I'm gonna start with two audio files, a, a main vocal and a harmony. And my first little tip is to create a quick audio channel, you press Option Command A. This is gonna create, instead of having to like right click and press add new just option command a this saves so much time and then option command s is going to give you a software track these are two helpful tips i am using all the time once again these things can just help your workflow go so much faster so you can get your input set and the template will memorize all of that which is great you can start to put on eq you know i'm just going to throw on one of these vocal eqs that's maybe close to what i would use and throw in compression. Once again, this is the beautiful thing about a template. It's gonna memorize all of this. So if you're a producer or a vocalist that's using pretty much the same EQ compression, this is gonna be super helpful for you. Sometimes I'll set this second audio channel as a guitar in my template. So I have the amps, the pedals, um, the, the verbs all locked in already. So I'm ready to just plug in and play. So let's say you wanted to throw on maybe like a organ or keys or something. Maybe it's something you use a lot, an instrument you use a lot. And here here you have like your decent like setup that you like to work off of almost every project. We can even set up the sends. So if you've never done this before, really easy way is to go into the buses, pick a couple empty buses, and let's say you want to send in bus four and five. We're gonna set up in bus four um, some reverb, I'm just going to use chroma verb and max that out to 100% wet. And then on channel five, we're going to put a little delay. These are things I love to put on tons of tracks. And as you probably know, it's very helpful to have that in a bus. You can just add that on to any of your vocals, any of your guitar, whatever channels you want. We are looking good. Like I said, this is great because you don't have to do this every time you set up a new project. And maybe you're someone who likes to be organized, likes to add colors. I'm gonna give you one more tip. And that is if you press option C, the this color scheme pops up, which is great. Now you can get your vibe all however you like it. This is actually kind of helpful for workflow and, and finding stuff quick. I don't know if you're like me, I lose stuff all the time because I'm not as organized. So this is something I, I'm trying to work on a little bit better. You can name your tracks. I might even throw in um, an extra piano here. I'm gonna do one more tip, and that is Command D is gonna copy, copy an instrument or vocal track. Let's make this orange. We're gonna do the Steinway. And all right, our template's looking pretty good. Let's just stop there. And you can name this whatever you would like. It's gonna save that. So then whenever you open a new project, you can open from templates and start to make music without having to do all this boring stuff every time you start a new project. So I hope this was helpful to you today. I hope you continue to make music. Let me know in the comments if you have other questions or other things you'd like to learn.